Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a speed comparison between the iPod Touch 4th generation and the iPhone 5 on iOS 6. So both devices are running iOS 6, the iPod 4 is on 6.1.6 .6, and the iPhone 5 is on 6.1.4, so the highest version of iOS 6 respectively. So, um, these both have been freshly restored, so I'm going to go ahead and set them up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're done, and I set them both up exactly the same. Um, so I just connected to Wi-Fi, the same network, and then enable location services on both. And I didn't sign in with an Apple ID, but I did do Siri on the iPhone 5, and then, um, diagnostics on both. So, yeah. Okay, so now I've just changed the brightness and the wallpaper. So, as you can see, all of the apps are cleared out of the multitasking. Um, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a boot up test since um, the iPhone 5 is on cool booter, so I can't really um, boot it normally. So, we're just going to be opening some apps. So, first, let's start with the calendar app. So you can see instantly on the iPhone 5 and the iPod 4 is a few seconds behind. Next we'll do photos. So again, the iPhone 5 is super fast there. Now we'll do camera. So there's that. Obviously the iPhone 5 is going to be faster across the board. Um, we're not going to do maps because iOS 6 maps don't really work anymore. So we will do weather. So there's that. Next we'll do passbook. And notes. Reminders. Clock, stocks, next we'll do the iTunes store, now this is a web based app so the load times can vary depending on your Wi-Fi connection. So we are still waiting, and there goes the iPod 4. Next we'll do the App Store, same thing. It is web-based. So you can see a little lag on the iPod 4. And it's done. You can see when you're going back home, there's a little lag. Um, but in general, the iPhone 5 comes home faster. Well, that time it was pretty much the same. But let's go to, like, cal calendar. Um, you can see that I actually had to reload on both devices. So it wasn't suspended in the RAM. But going back home, uh, I guess it is about the same, actually. And then finally, we'll do settings. So super fast there on the iPhone 5. Um, I know I said finally, but let's just do a couple more. So you can see the folder there opened faster, um, at least the first time it did. So calculator. And yeah, now let's try bringing down the notification center. So you can see it's better on the iPhone 5. And we'll do spotlight search, about the same. Both had a little stutter. Um, multitasking, you can see the iPhone 5 is faster. Now let's close out of all of these. So there's that. Now let's go into settings and try some of the sub menus. So we'll do brightness and wallpaper. So you can see a lot faster on the iPhone 5. 
So the iPhone 5 is obviously um, just faster across the board, which is to be expected. Um, the processor is two generations ahead. We've got an Apple A6 processor here, clocked at 1.3 gigahertz and one gigabyte of RAM, while the iPod Touch has an A4 processor at 800 megahertz with 256 megabytes of RAM. So the iPhone 5 has four times the RAM. Um, and also I forgot to mention the A6 processor is dual core and the A4 is only a single core. So let's actually install Geekbench 3 from the App Store and we will get a benchmark test. Also, let's just do a speed test of downloading this app on both. So you can see it's really, really fast on the iPhone 5. And there goes the iPod 4, so now let's open it. A lot faster on the iPhone 5. And now let's run the processor benchmark. So there we go, and the iPod 4 took over four times as long to finish the test as the iPhone 5. And you can see the scores. So since the iPhone 5 has a dual core processor, the multi-core score is about double of the single core score, um, and the iPod 4s are the same. But aside from that, you can see that the iPhone 5, the single core score is about three times, it's over three times better and then the multi-core score is over six times better so it is a lot lot faster so yeah you can see all the information down there um but yeah that pretty much wraps up this test and i really wish i could do a boot up test but i can't because cool booter on the iphone 5 but yeah that was my speed test between the iphone 5 and the ipod touch fourth generation on iOS 6. And I will be doing another video with the iPod Touch fourth generation, hopefully tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.